We're back. We're back, guys. I don't think we went anywhere to begin with, but yeah, it definitely wasn't working with them. We'll see what happens. Yeah, it says we're live? Yep. We are um, live. Yeah, not live on Twitch. Oh, yep. It looks go. like it's working. Here we go. Cool. So, what the hell was I running about? Okay, well, whatever. Oh, that's not what the last thing we said was. Yeah. What's the last thing we said, guys? Yeah. We, we can't think, remember those I things. think I was ranting about, um... Oh, right, about the whole, uh, you know, determinism versus free will, that kind of thing. Um, one way that it does get emphasized in the actual game is, uh, do you remember, like, the wise woman you have to talk to repeatedly? Like, to do the trials, and they say whether or not you're Lord Narabar. Yeah, yeah, the Dunmer. Right. Yeah. Well, when you ask early on, she's like, no, you're not. Leave. Done. Yeah. Like, sorry, that's just not you. And as you start doing more quests and starts to, like, realize the prophecy that you are this guy, you talk to her, and she basically says, uh, oh, you are now. You weren't before, but you yeah. are now because, and it it kind of does this whole thing where you, as a player, initially weren't this prophesized one, you but because of your actions, it. you worked for it and right. assumed the it's role. It's very much not Dragonborn, which is a yeah, which is a, what is it? Are we on a mechanic? Game uh, it's not showing. Are, are we they're on still seeing. Just oh, that's, that's right. Uh, uh, there we go. Come on, come on. Uh, don't blame me for Twitch. There's a naked man in the sewers. I will sewers. blame you for whatever I want. And he's a slave, dude. Look at those bracers. Aw, they're so fashionable. Mr. Slave. Have you not been freeing slaves? Yeah. I okay, have. good. Yeah, I've got a lot of free slaves. Hey, hey. Slavery is legal and thriving in Morrowind. But the thing is, I'm, RP I'm an Argonian. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You get, you, yeah, okay. There Argonians and cat people? There you go. It's it's like being in Skyrim as a dark elf. You're not going to help them. I, I murdered the hell out of Orvis Dren. There, yeah, you did. Everybody always murders him because he's a shit kicker. <laughs> thing is, I did it in self-defense, actually. Oh, okay. I because did. Um, I went out and straight up murdered him. The, the Morag Tong sends you to kill his two best men, and mm. then when you go to talk to him, he's like, you killed my two best men. I'm yep. going to kill you. I remember that. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I didn't want to pick a fight. <laughs> I like your brother. <laughs> <laughs> he gives me a lot of money. <laughs> he does. That that happens. Uh, I love reading the Halalu vaults. Oh yes, there's so much. Like, there, there's so many gems. And there's it's, so much gold. It's I hilarious have to do it early on when so did much you ever get, gold. I'm, I'm sure Three hundred fifty-one thousand on me right That's now. Tiny. Nice. Nice. Uh, what what did, else do you need did, it for? Oh, <laughs> did, did, did you make a Halalu stronghold? Yeah. 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 I love um, that shit. Did, did you ever get... I like, hear it's the smallest stronghold. It is. I just like doing yeah. it. I I'll, like the option the of Tavani making your own straw, straw The Tavani one's like the largest, but also... It's fucking bear. weird. It's weird. Yeah, it's <laughs> just a giant mushroom tower. Um, Die! What are you talking about? I don't remember now. Words. Determinism. <clears throat> no, there was... Free will. You guys reminded me of something else that I was going <laughs> to uh, go off okay. tangent. I don't remember now. American Sniper. Oh, wait. <laughs> um... Because I, I doubt he's found it, but did you ever get that amulet that just gives you, like, 80% chameleon? It's really easy to get early on, and it's hilarious what the game lets you do at low levels <clears> with it. Yeah. I think so. I yeah. do. I think it's, I have it on me. Oh, do you? Like, you, you get, like, ambushed by someone wearing it, and it's just stupid how easy <laughs> the game comes once you once you get it. Because you can just sneak into anything. Yeah, these are velociraptors. One. Basically. <laughs> That's fun. No, there's another one. So you see how that says 20 to 30%? There's an amulet that does 80%. Mm. And it's just silly, like, what it lets you do in the game. All right, so I'm opening this up to chat now that we've gone a little bit into thematics. Mm -hmm. How do you guys rate the Elder Scrolls games? I know that Hello Blue said she hasn't played any uh, Elder Scrolls games, yeah. but I know that a lot and of you have. How some you people have done at least Skyrim, it looked like. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess who here has played Morland? That's a, that's a big question, too. Yeah. Oh, that crash hurt us. <laughs> Damn, Twitch. Yeah, it was all good on this end. Yeah, yeah. whatever. What is that? What is what? A Durz is it called a Durzog? Yeah, it's the like <clears throat> the things the goblins. I think they use them as mounts or something. Werner like that. Durzog. <laughs> yeah, I, I've never uh, I've never played Tribunal. Hmm. Oh, okay. Then this yeah. is all alien to you. Yep. It, it's alien in an already alien world. Yup. <laughs> Die! I'm gonna T zero this shit. Matt, really? Daggerfall? Use trolling, I think. You see me trolling. Ha, ha, have you played Daggerfall? I actually thought about that earlier today, and that I never have, and actually installed uh, that in DOSBox today to start messing with it. But yeah, uh, I never had time to start DOSBox it. too. Yeah. 
I can't get out of that first dungeon because like <laughs> the gameplay is so rough. Well, it's it's very uh, outdated now. It's, yeah, like God. it's just, it's just hard. Like it's hard to manipulate the gameplay. Uh, yeah, you turn by uh, clicking on the corners of the screen. Yeah. Kind of weird. The thing with uh, <clears throat> Daggerfall, so I've been reading up on it just because mm -hmm. I wanted to. I wanted to play Daggerfall yeah, and then get exactly into this. Is. I can open a uh, door under water. Yes, but um, I wanted to. I want to play Daggerfall kind of to inform this. And obviously, like I said, like I played it for a couple hours and it was just like too clunky. I couldn't get through mm -hmm. it, and uh, and so I just started reading and. Um, I heard there's like a bank system, mm. and like you can take out like a million septum loan and just not pay it back. But if you don't like loan, like loan sharks, will yeah, bounty hunters like, break stuff. your legs and shit. Makes sense. <laughs> and uh, uh, there's just like you can like there's this whole thriving economic system that you can manipulate. Mm -hmm. Not to mention it's the size of the British Isles. Whereas economics <laughs> in Morrowind makes like zero sense. People have gold and then just regenerates every day. Somehow. <laughs> so those yeah. things I, were, I was killing earlier, those weren't even goblins. No, they weren't. No, those were like their mounts or something. It's like beasts that are trained to fight with them. No, the goblins are actually straight up called goblins. Yeah. So let's see, we've got... Uh, Only 60? We, we've got, yeah, 60 hours of Skyrim. That's like that's like you started the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, then we've got uh, Matt saying that Daggerfall is the best, but then it's followed by Oblivion and Skyrim... And then, uh, let's see, what else we have? Oblivion and Skyrim. Well, Vexy, which one do you like more, Oblivion or Skyrim? Yeah, I, I put a lot of hours into Oblivion as well. Yeah, I put a lot of hours in, like, all three of them, really. I, I can't The most in Morrowind, though. I, I wish I knew how much I put into Morrowind. I don't know, yeah. I, I was laughing with him earlier, because it's It'd like, yeah, you've got, though, you've got sure. more hours logged than I do in, in Morrowind <laughs> on Steam, but that's not counting all the pre-Steam time I played it, yeah. which was ridiculous. So, for those of you who like Oblivion, yeah. why do you like Oblivion? Um, because I think Oblivion is the most controversial game yeah. in the Elder Scrolls series. Well, depending, because, like... Skyrim even more so for a lot of reasons. Really? Oh, yeah. well, but, I mean... But it's from, more widely accepted. Oh, yeah. No, it's definitely widely accepted, but I mean, just mean in terms of people that actually, like, have played through the series, you know, not just Skyrim alone, a lot of people start having arguments about whether or not it counts and what's, like, different about it. What Whether or not it counts? Well, because there's it's a lot like, of design choices that are... people are trying to say it's not canon? Uh, no, not necessarily that, but just in terms of, like, mechanics and stuff, how much it's divorced from the older ones. Yeah. And how simplified so much of it is. Like, for instance, dungeon design... So, like, you've been playing this right now, and yeah. there's been a lot of dungeons where there's doors in all kinds of directions. <laughs> you don't even know where to go sometimes, right? Yeah. Yeah, hey, Skyrim, they're all hallways. Guido. But they're all hallways. <laughs> so. Don't let him give you shit. <laughs> no, I like Skyrim a lot, too. I actually really like Skyrim. Well, no, no, you, no you, said, you, said Gu you said to Guido, oh, only 60. Oh. And then he said, I'm also married with a full-time job. I'm trying to start a business. Yeah, I have, I have none of those <laughs> issues right now. Well, I am trying to start a full-time business, too, but it's, I'm not married and doing it, yeah. Not yet. Not yet. So here's the here's the funny thing about Oblivion. So in Oblivion, a lot of people say that Oblivion has the least appealing aesthetic, or it's like the most boring aesthetic. Yeah. Or like it's the it's the aesthetic that doesn't really work. Well, it's the most. And I totally one. disagree. Like hmm. I think that it works so well because it's like they're fucking Roman. <laughs> it's gonna be a medieval Roman looking place. Like they're modeled well, after the Roman. They have they have big columns. It wasn't even that Roman arena, though. It, you know, came up, like, like, it came out much more. Well, it's just traditional high game. fantasy. Yeah, it came like... out much more traditional high fantasy. Because even in the armor aesthetics, I mean, you see the armor in Skyrim and the armor in Morrowind that are you know imperial armor. It's got a very heavy Roman feel. Yeah, it's but like then the, in kind of like the skirtish. Yeah, thing. but then in Oblivion, it's all much more traditional plate mail stuff. It, it has a it, way it's more. It's a lot of chain mail. It's a lot of chain. Yeah. Like if you get the really heavy armor sets, yeah, it's plate yeah. mail. But most of like the guards, they were chain tired of being now. an American then, sniper. Like, the, are you going to melee now? Uh, what are they called? The uh, and wow, you always had one. It was your guild's crest. It came down. Tabard. 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 Yeah. Uh, they had tabards and all that stuff. You know. So I don't know. It, I, I thought it worked well. Like it really really captured what was going on and plus when you think of that really clean bright very normal looking aesthetic mm -hmm. uh and then you contrast it with oblivion which is hell yeah <laughs> like it's it, it's great i think that 
uh, obli- having the oblivion thing with the, with the oblivion gates into hell and all mm-hmm. that stuff, and a lot of daedric activity. I thought that was like it could only work to that extent in Cyrodiil. Mm-hmm. We need to talk about Daedra's and Skyrim versus Daedra's and Morrowind. Mm-hmm. In that, uh, hmm? in, in what way? In the way that in Skyrim, Daedra's are fucking bosses. And in this game, Daedra's are random mobs. Certain ones. Most of them. Well, but they're, they're not like Shigaroth or anything. Yeah. Or Bob- no, you're talking about like they, Mog Bob. They have altars and they're Dramoras, yeah. and if you steal their heart and their gems, they'll come attack you and you just murder yeah. them. They're not built up in any way. But again, they're, they're, they're Daedra's. They're not Daedric Lords. Yeah. In, in Skyrim, it's Daedric Lords I, are the big events. Yeah. I reserve the right, because I've met Azura. Mm-hmm. And I've met the one that the Morag Tong mm-hmm. um, worships. And the Daedras are not built in a way that you care or like... Again, those you aren't Daedras. Uh, those are Daedric Lords. Daedras are monsters. Yeah. Uh, Azura is a Daedric Lord. Yeah, yeah, she's a Daedric and Lord. And so is the one that the Morag Tong... Right, in, but, like, but in... Uh, oh, wait, okay. So, okay, never mind. I think I... Yeah. Know what you misinterpreted saying. it. Yeah, yeah. Um, the building of the Daedra, that other world, is so pronounced in Skyrim that when you actually, even when you meet a Dramora, you're like, oh, fuck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, this is a big deal. Yeah. Whereas, and that's- outside every city, there's at least two or three Daedric ruins mm-hmm. that you can just yeah. explore, and it's like, yeah. what the... And I will say that the, <laughs> kind of like the funny thing is that... You know, Daedra and Skyrim are like these big events, mm-hmm. and it really should be the dragons. In that, yeah. the dragons get yeah. so fucking commonplace. Like they you do. see a dragon flying, and you're like, I'm just gonna hide so I don't have to fight this. Yeah, exactly. no, I, I agree. I, I agree. I, with I, that. Have I, hate of, like, I have a surplus of twenty souls. I don't need to kill this one. I all the go. souls, all the bones. Yeah, yeah it's like Jesus oh god, you can't Christ. carry them everywhere, and you can't unload them anywhere for a yeah. while. That sucks. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> I was just killing goblins. And now, like, there's liches and shit. I love liches. <laughs> um, but, I don't know, like... I feel like I killed all the gobbies. Oblivion Or it took a wrong turn somewhere. Yeah, the, the first dragon battle was really cool. Uh, yeah. I mean, even when you go back and you replay it, you're like, oh shit, I, I know I'm not leveled for yeah. it. And, but, but I mean, I, I still remember the first time that I fought a dragon and I just, like, shit my hands. Well, it's cool, too, because they, you know, they put it in a good location where it's nice and open, but there's a single tower you can get on top yeah. of if you want to try and, yeah. It, and when it helps, you can see other guys just getting wrecked by fire while you attack the, <laughs> yeah. the side of its head. <laughs> yeah, dra- the dragon was awesome in the yeah. very beginning, but, but when you're leveled to the extent that, like, they just it just doesn't matter anymore, you can just kill a dragon and... That's it. It's just like another. It's like having a, a it, saber cat. It, yeah, it becomes it, a random mob that just yeah is annoying. Yeah, especially because you eventually have so much surplus of everything they drop that you just start to be annoyed. Careful there. <sighs> yeah, I don't know, but the one. I, so I, I've been playing Oblivion and Skyrim together, and my biggest critique about Oblivion this time. Is that even though uh, That's where he came in, so. Oblivion has the biggest map, mm-hmm. it has like the least dense map. Yeah, that world is so fucking vacant. Well, and the the problem I have with that too is, um, you know, because okay, like you were saying, Cyrodiil is the it, it's the main capital. It's supposed to be the biggest city in the whole setting. Here's mm-hmm. a gobby, and it feels so tiny. All of it feels so tiny in compared. I mean, especially like when we were comparing like Balmora and Vivek and you know cities and this. The cities in uh, Oblivion, there's what like nine major ones and then a few small villages. Yeah. Okay. So there's let's see. There's Anvil, Burma. Uh, there's one for each Skinbred, divine. Yeah. The, oh, well, but one of them gets wrecked right away. So there's like yeah, eight Kavaj. main villages. Yeah. Kavach is destroyed. So there's like eight major towns basically. One for each uh, god, and it's. They just feel so empty. It's like you go to a village, and you, or you go to Cyril, which is the main capital, and it's like, eh, 80 people live there? Yeah. You know, it's, it's just, yeah, it, seems it feels very so small. small in scope. Well, yeah. and, and the the thing with the world density is that, like, you know, I, I like to I like to RP when I play these Also, these you've games. been corrected on a uh, earlier statement. What was that? 
Daggerfall's the largest, which is actually... I said Daggerfall's the largest. Oh, no, you said that I believe it was largest. Oh, well, I mean, like, of the... Of the, of the later three. Earlier I said that... The modern era? Yeah, earlier, because earlier I said that uh, Daggerfall is the, size, is the size of the British Hot. Yeah. I mean, obviously, it's the largest. Yeah. But, it, no, Oblivion of Oblivion, Morrowind, and Skyrim... I gotta go. Is the, <laughs> it's, it's the biggest. Have you found more goblins, or are you still finding Yeah, now I've found gobbies. I okay. just, I need to be... <laughs> Heal. Yeah, heal. <laughs> no, I need to be economic. I need to like soften him up with arrows. When, when jumping is faster than running. Uh, mm -hmm. anyway. <laughs> but uh, the the thing with uh, oblivion. Wait, what were we talking about? We were talking about density. About density. Yeah. And so the thing is, like, you know, part of doing a proper RP is that you don't fast travel, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, well. You, you, well, I mean, you fast travel if it involves using a cart or something. Like in Skyrim, it's less. Right. Awkward. You pay, in Skyrim, yeah. you pay for a cart. Yeah. You don't, you don't you fast don't do travel. Fast you, just, you just, you either you get on Shadowmere and you and you and you, uh, you know, do your thing, yeah. or you pay fifty gold or twenty gold for a cart. Mm -hmm. uh, same thing with uh, uh, Morrowind. You know, you take a Silt Strider, uh, you do a Diviner Invention, or you do a boat. Yeah. But in Oblivion, there is no cart. Um, you can get Shadowmere. But the world is so big, so uniform, and so like these guys are sparsely coming. populated with random events, bandits, mm -hmm. and just like things the and like everything. Like it's vacant. The yeah. gobby so, so, so you're just like fuck it. Have I'm fun. just gonna fast travel because it's boring. You know, mm -hmm. like it makes the RP experience shitty. Use their shield if you. Why are you training block at all? Nope. Oh jeez, you are. He don't block. Out. He's a sneaky so, type. But even sneaky types can use a light shield. Uh, anyways, you don't though, do that. Um, and another thing too is that <laughs> with Oblivion, uh, you can fast travel to all the major cities right away. Skyrim, you have to visit it at least once through a cart. Or Guys, walking yeah. Game. The gobbies respawned. Yeah, that's oh, never happened before. I, well, well, welcome to Tribunal. <laughs> well, how am I supposed to kill all the gobbies if they're respawning? Um, not kill keep them, running away. Kill them very hard. <laughs> kill them very hard. Is all your stuff at full condition? No. Well, that's why you're dealing new damage. Your bow is almost broken. You know that affects that damage, makes it right? No, I didn't know that. Yeah. Nobody told me that. Yeah, and armor does less defense if it's like damage. Come too. on, dog. You're supposed to know this. Nobody tells you anything in this game. It's you should know common sense. Like even highlighted, I think it displays yeah, a lower number. It shows now. you. Oh, it, it's common <laughs> sense. Name one other well, game that does that. Leave the sewer and go to an armor. Oh, games. Leave the sewer and go to an armor because you need that. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> That's that is why you're having a problem right now. All your shit's about to break. <laughs> and it's dealing shit damage. Run away! I'll actually admit, I'll admit, back when I played this way back ago, I didn't realize that either. And it was at this point that I realized because all of my armor was almost broken and I had no defense. And I was like, oh, that's that's a problem. <laughs> it was at this exact same level that yeah, I Yeah, what's up with all the respawns? Run! Alright guys, so sound off. What's better, Oblivion or Skyrim? We we have our opinions. Yes. Let's do yours. <laughs> oh boy. I gotta keep remember what names you're using now. You're Jack. Yeah. And Bear. Okay. Jack and Bear. Gotcha. Keep almost calling you real names, because like, oh. I don't even. I'm I'm always. We know. Yeah. We're we're. Uh, shadier, and we we have yeah, reputations. We we, uh, we hold public office. Yeah, so uh, we have to have. I, I, I like the word choice there. <laughs> public office. Yeah, we have public office. I think I think our diehard fans know what we do. But all right, so Guido says that Skyrim, seeing as he hasn't played he has Oblivion. Oblivion yeah. Matt says Oblivion. I think Vexy says Skyrim. Uh, Actually, played both, so I'm curious to see what she's yeah. up to. Let's see who else do we have in chat who's played these. Uh, Kalindra hasn't. <sighs> okay, and then Big Big Trouble, I'm sure, is doing something. <laughs> and then, okay, so uh, uh, well, Bear hasn't played Oblivion. Yeah. See, now I need arrows. Uh, for both of us, it's Skyrim, right? Skyrim over yeah. Oblivion. Yeah, by by and it, it's by a hair with, with some qualification with some qualifier statements going on here too. Yeah, because the way I worded it to you before we did this is that uh, to me at least, uh, Skyrim is a worse Elder Scrolls game. Yeah, in that it kind of subverts a lot of the traditional stuff that people liked from the series. Yeah, 
but standalone, I do think it's better than Oblivion. Right. Like, yeah. if, it, if it weren't called Elder Scrolls, I would probably like it even more. Yeah. Because it just... Definitely. There's certain things I would come to expect from it that... Yeah. Yeah. Although it, I... Uh, Oh, as, as far as Awesome Expansion, I actually will agree. I do like the Oblivion expansions more Shipping than the Skyrim ones. Yeah. I like Shipping Isles and Knights of the Nine better than... Because okay. I really didn't care that much. I, I was so excited to go back to Morrowind in Skyrim's DLC, and I just did not really care for it. Wait, uh, the way you they get to do it. that? You go to Solstheim, which is uh, a yeah, DLC yeah, area yeah. in this game. Yeah, yeah. uh, and then... Uh, what is the other one? Uh, oh, the Vampire one. The Vampire one's really weird. Have you done that one? Is that Blood Moon or? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, Blood oh no, Moon's, uh, no, uh, that's Dawn Guard. Yeah, Dawn Guard. Yeah. Um, what's weird about that one is it doesn't really add any new locations. Like it does, but it has like an appendix, right? Well, <laughs> what happens is it adds new locations, but instead of being like a whole new area to explore, it's like, oh, there's a crack in this wall. That's a uh, small pathway that leads to this castle. Like that's it adds new areas by just that adding sucks. a random. Yeah, it's really annoying. Sorry, uh, sorry to hear that. Hello, Blue. What's wrong with Hello Blue? Uh, well, uh, Big Big Trouble has a mega headache. He can't yeah. comment right now. Mm -hmm. um, so make him some mac and cheese. Yeah, make him some mac and cheese. <laughs> it, it wouldn't be a stream without commenting on mac and cheese. Uh, so one of the things that we were going to talk about earlier was, uh, or not earlier, but, but we, we, we had planned on. Well, part of what makes Morwen so good is that it is not voice acted. Yes, for the most part. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Well, let's okay, let's, well, let's, let's yeah. Well, let's <laughs> let's backtrack that. Let's, let's break that down a bit. Um, voice acting is good. Yeah, I enjoy the voice acting yeah. in Skyrim. It's from a pragmatic standpoint mm -hmm. that voice acting means that you have less of a world because you're putting more resources in the voice acting. Whereas anybody in this game will talk to you for days. Yep. And that's yeah. a lot of them have randomly unique yeah. things to say. And that's good because it builds the world. Mm -hmm. now, it makes the people feel real rather yeah. than characters. And there's you know? no way you can voice act all that of this. Much. It's it's gonna take <laughs> a lot take of forever. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna take a long time, it's gonna take a lot of goddamn money. Yeah. And I wouldn't even go as far as to say that uh, the voice acting in Oblivion is good. Like I, I, I don't actually yeah, think some awkward moments. Yeah, I, like, I, there are some voice actors in that game that kind of make me chuckle. Like, I like the female Argonian. Actually, I like basically all the female voice actors, uh -huh. and I don't like any of the male voice that's, actors. That's fair for a lot of them, yeah. Uh, but I like... Except for, like, the big celebrity ones, for the few unique... Yeah, characters. the guy who... Well, Patrick Stewart. Yeah. And, um, yeah, of course. But I, Sean Bean. Uh, Sean Bean, yeah. yeah. Uh, Sean Bean? Spoiler about his character. I mean, I, you know, just... Yeah. You know, <laughs> walking spoiler. But the the thing, with, yeah. Seriously. <laughs> oh my god, that does so much more damage. <laughs> but yeah, but right? the, the thing about uh, <laughs> the thing about voice acting though in the in those games, is I didn't think that Skyrim had very good voice acting. Like all of the guards were the same guy. Yeah. You don't like the Nords? The, the Nord accent is well, like, kind of funny. It's not necessarily like, like the quality of the voice acting alone. It's also just the issue of how varied it is, like he was saying. I mean, there are so many people that sound identical and say the same things out loud yeah. all the time. It, and that happens a little bit in Morrowind too, but you're almost forgiving a little more because voice acting really wasn't a big emphasis in this. Right, right. Yeah. It's it's done to add flavor. Yeah, like, exactly. And, and mostly, and, ambience. Mo and fucking mostly all it is is like you hit somebody saying, ah, you yeah. NY! Or like, <laughs> walking by a town and it's like welcome to our city and like that's, yeah. that's like it or if you're like sick they'll comment on you looking sickly that's, yeah you know, and you know. so that that's a mechanic it's yeah. like how you know do you, you like our city for now <laughs> another thing that i really like i, yeah. I just city like of that, lights city of magic <laughs> i like how they choose to say okay we're gonna voice act just a tiny bit what are we gonna do all right we're gonna do welcome we're gonna tell the player if they're sick we're also gonna cuss Huh. Enwa and Swit. That's those are like seriously like the yeah. only things that the uh, yep. that the Ashlanders say to you. Only thing they say, and the just the regular Dark Elves too. They use a lot of the same voice sets. Yeah, and, and, well, and the the funny thing too is like especially with the Ashlanders, you would think that like Nereverain would be one of their things. Like, oh my God, you're the Nereverain. Mm -hmm. But that's not voice acted. But yeah. but you Enwa. Yeah. <laughs> that always cracked me up when I was a kid. So and right, I so that. But before Ryan had the, the two cents about it, your argument about voice no voice acting making better is just well, it, it, well, I mean, voice acting solely for flavor and having it be limited is good. Mm -hmm. ha I would much rather have the huge options where it's like every single person yeah. you talk to just has like all of these options, so they actually feel like people, not like here. Also, thanks for pointing that out. Uh, I don't know the real name, but Hello Blue, because that's my, what I was gonna say. That the one time I've ever seen Sean Bean not die was Silent Hill. <laughs> it's so weird. It's so weird. 
I was waiting. I kept waiting for that moment, and it just never, it never came. Um, yeah, I don't give yeah. a shit about the arrows. And the thing is, too, is like how the voice, how how conversations even handled. You know, with Oblivion, you have specific things to ask or say or respond to with each person. Yeah. Whereas in this, I mean, I don't know if we've seen you talk to many people yet. No, but, we're just um, looking like for the, the gobbies. Yeah, it's like you talk to them, and then just here's a list of all these keywords you've gained over time, and you can just ask them any of the keywords and yeah, like, see what they have to say. I love it. Well, let's open this baby up. Yeah. Page 154 of the journal. Oh, the journal. Isn't that I love the journal. I love now, the journal too. These are real pages. Yep. I know it's great. I yep. love that. That is that is like fourteen times the length of any book in the setting. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, that's you are right. a better yeah. writer. And there are so, libraries. So Sean Bean doesn't die in Troy. He's oh, I hadn't seen Troy. I hadn't seen Troy. Bam. Yeah. My orders are to go to the so. town of Balmora, day one, in Varenfeld district, and report to a man named Caius Kalsabis. Yeah. By the way, this which game, I haven't done. That's that's another thing too. Is <laughs> yeah. This game, no quest tracker. That wasn't in oh, Morrowind. That was I how you found so Caius. You had to read. You the had notes. to know the world. You had and to read. Yeah. Big a fucking book. And big book. fan which, of the journal. And the thing is too, the, the the thing that that does flavor wise to this game that I love is that it kind of partially forces exploration. You know, it's not just like oh, yeah. report directly to this area. It's like no, I gotta walk around. Yeah, I gotta go talk to people. Yeah. I gotta figure stuff out. And the game also through the main quest line at least really kind of tries to push that. You know, it's never just go here and do this. It's like no, gather some information, talk to these people. You know, very intentionally uh, kill some gobbies. Yeah, so yeah. slow. Yeah, like I, it's it's wonderful. It's slow and good. It, it, yeah, yeah, <laughs> it, yeah. It encourages you to it's to developed. know the world before you make some. Yeah. World altering choices, you know. Uh, uh, sleeping oh, randomly. So good. Just, I love it. You gotta get that. Yep. You gotta rest a little bit. Did, did you buy any armor hammers to repair in the middle no, of place? No. I didn't up my uh, my repair or anything at all. <laughs> Shittier bore in there. That's a, that's a poor office. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Check over see, here for let me, let me check our Instagram. Let's see if uh, anyone's. Yeah, let's see if we have any the new followers. Who took the initiative? No gobbies. Oh, well, Ve Vexy took a picture. Oh, wait. It's Vexy a took a recording of us. We got. Is that on Instagram? <laughs> there we go. Got some Elder Scrolls action. Uh, oh, oh, I'm, I'm signed in my personal one. Um, so going back to like the themes a little bit, too, while you're checking the... Uh, I yeah, should have been sneaking. Range. Should have been sneaking? You should have been sneaking. No, I should have been sneaking, yeah. That, should have been sneak sneaking goes. is like the only tip you need to succeed in Elder Scrolls. <laughs> well, that should have been sneaking. That and steal anything not nailed to the ground when people aren't looking. <laughs> yeah. um, no. One thing, too, that I really like, I was talking to you before stream about this, is that uh, compared to, because we were comparing to like Skyrim and Oblivion and stuff, there's a way, way toned down sense of urgency in this game when it comes uh, to the main quest. Totes. You know what I mean? If you guys, a lot of you have played both uh, Oblivion and Skyrim, so you know at the start, both of them really kind of ram the main quest down your throat right away. You know, Oblivion, you witness a king die, he gives you this amulet that you can't drop anywhere, you have to report to a guy, he tells you to go find Martin, and then all of a sudden you're in hell, and gates are opening everywhere, and you need to do that main quest. You know, right. there, there's a sense of urgency. <laughs> uh, with Skyrim, it's like, you know, dragon attacks, you need to report it. If you report it, you end up fighting a dragon, find out you're dragonborn, you're destined, all this stuff. Once again, sense of urgency constantly, especially because you start getting attacked by dragons left and right. I hate, uh, I hate that aspect yeah, of the later games. Yeah. Whereas Morrowind, uh, it starts off with you getting off a boat. You didn't see that because we loaded a yeah. game we've already played a bit. But you basically get off a boat, report to some guys uh, to make your character, and then after that it's just, okay, you should go talk to this guy, Caius Cassades. That's basically it. And even if you uh, move down that line a little bit, you talk to Caius, and he basically just says, oh, well, yeah, you're supposed to follow my orders, so are you going to do that? And you can just say no to him, and he just brushes you off, and you can leave. <laughs> That's <laughs> it. You're and, done. And actually, uh, I'll reiterate... Can you come back to him later and be like, hey, I changed my mind. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll reiterate my response to, to what you just said. Mm -hmm. In this game, you could fucking kill him. Yep. You can kill the yep. person who this, starts this, the main this quest. This was the last war one you could do that. This is the last Elder Scrolls you could do you that. You can't do that in Oblivion. Yeah. And it's like, great too because the game the game makes you aware, but it doesn't stop you. Because if you kill him, it just goes. Uh, you kind of just screwed over the uh, main plot line. You're like, yeah. all right. And, and then you can play the game to your heart's content, yeah. never becoming the never Yeah, like, and that's the thing too is that all that extra setting stuff, like you know the blight storms getting worse and that kind of thing. Yeah. None of it happens until you get fairly well into the main quest. It saves all the crazy stuff for you to kind of find and explore and discover. Whereas Skyrim and Oblivion, to throw it in your face right away, it's like stuff's going down. Fix it. <laughs> you know, whereas 
So Morin's yeah, like, you want to talk to some people about a cult? And yeah, see what happens. It's really, it's really, well, I don't know. It's more difficult to RP in the later games. Oh, very, very. Yeah, and that's, that's something really that's cool. that, that's actually something that's bothered me about some people I've talked to. Because um, I used to, I, I, I would talk to people about, you know, uh, that started on Skyrim. And I would talk about their playthroughs, and uh, a lot of people treated it like it was just a completionist game. Yeah. And they would do, like, all the guilds and the main quest and everything in one playthrough. I'm like, how... How do you justify that to yourself? Because I always approach from the RP standpoint. Yeah, you know? I got to make at least two characters if I want to cover everyone. Right. At least. Right. Because it's well, like you have to get you know have to get some sort of mage. Yeah. And then some sort of sneak class. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can do a jack of all trades that eventually doesn't. But even like yeah. from a logic standpoint, it's like, but I mean, how am I going to be a member of the Dark Brotherhood who's all about murdering? And be a member of like some honorable yeah you know, like it, fighters group yeah yeah so I mean like if yeah if you're in the fighters guild it doesn't really make a lot of sense to be in the thieves guild yeah and uh, if you're in you know the dark brotherhood you can do the thieves guild but maybe not the the fighters guild and the mages guild yeah. or you know yeah, e you can even yeah. the blades you know like it doesn't really make sense to do the blades if you're yeah if you're in the dark brotherhood well the oh, yeah yeah dark brotherhood in general ruins a lot of things yeah. Although there's never... Oh, because you can be the Blades in Oblivion, but it's like a minor note. It's like, oh yeah, you joined us. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's kind of... Eh, it's more or less analogous to uh, the Blades in this. Yeah, right? that's true. You only ever have one rank, is the only difference. Whereas this, you can go up a couple. Did I just but... come from here? Hooray, being lost. <laughs> not a straight it's line. It's an actual dungeon. Yeah, not a straight <laughs> line with, uh, with a quest pointer. Which is fine, but the gobbies are respawning. That's, <laughs> and and that's I don't want my goddamn quest pointer. <laughs> like, I'll, mm. I'll put hours into this goddamn dungeon as long as the gobbies aren't coming back. The, wait, they're respawning in the areas you're staying in? No. Oh, okay. But I don't want to, like, go to another area and then mm. come back and there's, like, fuck, they're all back again. Yeah. Wait, so, I know this is off topic, but for those of you who have Check been watching our Tales series so far, how are, you, how are you guys liking the Tales? Mm, tales. I'm Which one are you guys doing right now? I'm looking at the wrong Symphonia. camera. How are you guys liking Tales? <laughs> Which one are you guys doing right now? Symphonia. Okay, yeah, the, the go-to. Yeah. I'm really liking Tales. See, that's not a gobby. It's not a gobby at all. <laughs> <laughs> that, so the Dark Brotherhood's in here, so I don't want to go there. I already murdered all that. I wonder where Bill is tonight. How is we didn't, got, we didn't get any Bill. No gobbies. No bandy. No gobbies and no Bill. No gobbies. Man, you were just going through that okay. ability. Uh, we'll go to the... Feeling yeah. a little lost? So if we are just there, we could go... Yeah, wait, have you not gone up? Hmm? Where have you not explored? Like, what have you not... I feel like I came from the West... I'll check the West sewers. Let's see. I wish I could remember. It's been so long since I've done this particular one. Oh, Bill is in Vegas. Not that Andrew can know that right now. Or... Jack. Totally, his name's Jack. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we do it every week. <laughs> oh, we accidentally say names? Beautiful. Uh, okay, so that explains where Bill is. I don't know who Bill is. Gobbies! <laughs> but they could have just respawned. I don't you know. <laughs> well, check your map. Have you been here? You yeah. Have. Wait. Oh, but you haven't gone down that no, hall. No, I haven't. This is where you ran away earlier, probably. You probably came in here and ran, and then... Not this time! Why do you not have a shield? I thought I was a thief, and they don't do that. They can use bucklers or, like, light shields, which are really useful in this game. Shields are really good, really, really. It's kind of silly. Once your block skills up, you just don't get hit. Really? It's well, pretty silly. Maybe I'll start. I could just go it. train in it. I'll well, just all pay the money someone. Have, yeah, yeah, do it, because blocking is so useful in this yeah, game. Yeah, plenty. Because it's not like, um... Because you haven't used a shield at all, then I take it, right? Nope. It's not like in Skyrim or Oblivion where you like hold yeah, it up yeah, and it reduces the damage. It's a proc that just negates the damage, and it's or it heavily reduces it to like a very small percentage. So it's it's pretty silly. Bill is in Vegas. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, who knew that? <laughs> uh, Guido. Guido. Oh, okay. Probably covered in hookers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. 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 <laughs> he's he's our moderator. Wait, what does that say about Guido? Hmm? He can only speak truth. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so um, he's an accomplice. He set him up with the hookers. Anywho, uh, shoot, what was I? Oh, let's see. Well, we were talking about ur before we got distracted by other things. We were talking about like urgency and immediacy between the games. You know, how, how forced the main quest is and your role in it and if you role play the game or not, you know, or just treat yeah. it like a completionist. I actually have I'm a, gonna die. Let's talk about Argonia. 
Mm. Now, we don't know a lot about Argonia. We know that uh, Black Marsh is going to be the main setting for Elder Scrolls VI, yeah. but I have read that there is a rumor that you start in Black Marsh and they're opening up all of Tamriel. That would be interesting. Thoughts? Thoughts, chat? Do you do you want an Elder Scrolls game that has all of Tamriel? Or do you want it to be localized to Black Marsh? And what, that, do, what do you think? Well, because what the first thing I would I'd be curious about is, I mean, because obviously it's supposed to be after a pretty healthy time skip again. Uh, so you, they don't have to be, like, you know, the same setting. Mm -hmm. But I'm curious how much of the... Uh, distancing how much of it is consistent between games if you notice because like if you play like arena not everything's going to be the same scale like going to morrowind in arena is not the same as going to morrowind in i mean just yeah, vanderfell alone <laughs> yeah <laughs> are you piece of shit <laughs> having fun no <laughs> um, it's the gobbies so i don't know like it would depend on how they handle like referencing the older ones as far as scale goes and it'd be interesting to compare it to to like once again we haven't really played eso at all yet but how it compares to that as well um, I don't know if I'd like that. I would almost prefer... Because it's... Well, like you were saying about Oblivion and density. You know, how dense is it going to be if they're going to expand that much? Yeah, honestly, I don't care how big or small it is. Yeah. I want it to be a dense a yeah. dense world. No, density honestly, is definitely more important. I, I would want it to be larger than Skyrim was. I would want it to be maybe in the neighborhood of Oblivion. But the thing is, is like, Argonia is coming out <gasps> either the very, very end of this year or the very beginning of next year mm -hmm. on next gen. And so, honestly, like, I expect if they keep it localized to just Black Marsh, mm -hmm. Black Marsh needs to be fucking huge. Yeah. Like, it, it needs to be huge, it needs to be dense. What's up, buddy? Hey, you already? Doing? Tall drink of water. You guys already cracking it? Yeah. We did. Yeah, we got our own. You missed it. You, you, you missed it. The whole fucking thing? We got our own. Did we own. kill our own? We didn't drink oh. yours. Oh, why? Because you were a bitch about it. I said yes. <laughs> yeah, we'll elaborate on that later. Um, you would have liked it, buddy. You would have liked it. The, the, yeah. But, I mean, I I shouldn't say you would have liked it. You will like it when you drink yours. How was it? Healing. Overall. It's fucking amazing. Healing. It's my resting favorite, for 25 it's my hours. Than, uh, <laughs> I love how the healing scales. Problem. You just start sleeping for yeah, a Yeah, it's different. It's not the same style. Just hanging out. But I, I personally prefer Parabola. How does it rank uh, next to Parabola? It's not the same style, bud. Right. What? How does it rank next to Parabola? He, he prefers Parabola too, I'm sure. By far. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you didn't like it? It was, it was okay. I gave it a four, I think. So that's above yeah, average. Yeah. I, I gave it a... Well, and the thing you is, you did 4.5 in the right. Right. Well, here, let me... I'll, I'll be right back, guys. I need to educate this. There's going to be, there's gonna be a beer talk. I enjoyed it. Well, I'm not as in-depth as these two, though, so... All right, so... <clears throat> Gobbies, man. Gobbies. The gobbies. They're everywhere. Uh, yep. Uh, I, there we go. It's going to be interesting to see how like, you respond to some of the main quest stuff in this without having any knowledge of the main quest in Corbin. You go find a shield trainer. Yep. And just equip. Because the goblin bucklers are really good. The little really? shields they have. Should I just pick one up? Yeah, just pick one up. I think a glass shield is still better, but compared to nothing, it's just equip it now. <laughs> like, it wouldn't hurt. <laughs> Okay, okay, fuck you, fuck you. <sighs> Plus, I mean, from just, I, I know roleplay wise, it's like, why would I use a shield? I just want to use a sticky dagger. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, from yeah. an optimization standpoint, you you have another arm that's doing nothing. You're not using a two hander, you're not using a bow. Yeah, it just didn't work like that in, like, Skyrim, which yeah. I played. Yeah, because you could use two daggers. Right? And I started actually assuming, because, like, skeletons have a stupid high block rate. Yeah. And I was like, this must be passive. But yeah, it's I just passive. Never it's did just it. a passive proc. So, at high ranks, it's pretty silly. And it gives you passive armor, too, I think. I'll, I'll take that. So, maybe it's, then. it's nothing but beneficial. I love educating people. Was that, was that a good education? I think so. So probably, there, probably I've got not. a gobby buckler now. <laughs> I feel better about it, though. <laughs> you, you feel good. <laughs> Let's see. So, uh, what were we talking about? Oh, yeah. Uh, Argonia. Yeah, so what, what do you guys want to see out of Argonia? What are just uh, some some concepts? I, I, I would like some more alien stuff going on. I mean, it's more yeah, it's closer to that the, region. Yeah. And I think if you ever... Because if you ever get, like, collector's editions of any of the older Elder Scrolls games, you usually get that... Uh, what is it called? The, like... Uh, it's like a little manual that just explains all different provinces and stuff. Can I look at it? No, fuck off. I 
Go away! Go. Fuck! Got work to do. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, right. Uh, you you would get this little like printed manual that was just like a small like like cliff notes on each of the major uh, places, and I'm pretty sure along with like elsewhere and I forget the name, but where the wood elves come from. Like those are supposed to be two of the weirdest places next to uh, Morrowind, if not yeah. weirder. Elsewhere is supposed to be all kinds of messed up, and it's called Elsewhere. Uh, but yeah. Isn't it supposed to be a desert? Yeah, it's like a desert. Not yeah. entirely. Not the whole area. The Bosmer one, uh, where are the Bosmer from? They're from like a dense wooded area where they have yeah. a deal with plants where they're only can- High, they're, High Rock? No. High no, Rock's no, the No, that's the Altmer. That's the, no, that's the Breton. Oh, that's the Breton. High Rock is Breton. God, who's uh, the- Somerset Isles is Altmer. And, uh, oh, yeah, that's right. What is it called? Valenwood. Valenwood, Valenwood yeah, yeah, of course. Valenwood's supposed to be all kinds of weird and, like, fucked up. Nice. Because it's, supposed, like, not the way it's depicted. It's in, in ESO, it's apparently, like, Hobbit Hills or something. Okay. It, which is not even close to, like, the original description. The descriptions were, like, jungle slash foresty area. Yeah. Lots of, like, crazy thought. living plants. I think there's something about them living on, like, moving trees. Yeah. Like, they yeah, just I've have, they too, have like, yeah. buildings built on living trees that walk around. This is it, guys. Uh, and they're the opposite of vegetarians. They only eat meat because they want to leave the plants alone. Nice. Yeah. In fact, <laughs> I think they have some cannibalistic rituals, too. Wood nice. elves are really crazy in the setting, and it's never shown off really. I really like wood elves, too. Yeah, I was... I, wood elves are usually my third uh, favorite race to play. Yeah. Also, we're getting questions about Argonia because you were the first I heard of it too. I mean, it, the timing's right for a new one. But. Yeah. Well, uh, I, I don't know. I, I've seen it from a couple sources. I don't know if it. I don't know if it's a fake rumor or not. But no. at any rate, I think it's time we fucking talk about it because. Well, I mean, because the timing is usually all, four or five years between games. So. Yeah. And we, and we all know what we want, and we all want, know what we don't want. One of the biggest things that I want, personally, mm -hmm. is I want a hardcore mode like Fallout New Vegas. Yeah. I want there to be a, a mode where you have to eat, you have to sleep, you have to drink, right. all that stuff. Yeah, an optional way that makes it a little more uh, forced realism. Not like Ryan here, where he fights a couple guys and then sleeps for 25 hours. I can do that. <laughs> yeah, not like that. Some like my yeah. real life. I don't know. I'm, I'm, yeah, there, there are some. I don't know what exactly they'd want out of it for sure. Like it depends on if they want to try and maintain what Skyrim did, or if they want to maybe. They probably won't take a step back. Well, they'll on, probably maintain. Honestly, it. what they should do is basically look at Skyrim, look at the most popular like four or five mods mm -hmm. that everybody chose, yeah. and then just integrate that into the next game. Aside from just better graphics and waifus. Yeah. <laughs> nobody gives a fuck about the graphics. I don't give a fuck about the graphics. Everybody, Everybody gives a fuck. Yeah, about I was gonna the say like it's. I, if, I don't want to say the graphics are the same exact graphics as Skyrim. I'm I don't, not gonna. Do I don't want to say it's a determining factor, but it definitely helps. Yeah. A lot. God, if it's anything, if it looks like Skyrim, I I don't care. That's perfectly fine. It to probably me. won't look just like. Skyrim. If it looks like Oblivion, that's perfectly fine to me. Yeah. If it looks like Morrowind, it's perfectly fine to me. I don't care. Yeah. Um, if there are less gobbies, the one thing, the one thing <laughs> I would like, I mean, I don't know if I if I'd be a fan of this being implemented at all to begin with, but if they wanted to do uh, the companion thing again, like how they added companion like henchmen to yeah. Skyrim, uh, Lydia, like, yeah, a, a, Lydia. a lesson they kind of learned from Fallout. I would love that if they do it to not have it be forty people with the personality of rocks. That bothered me <laughs> so much because you know coming from Fallout or Fallout or Fallout Three or Fallout New Vegas, it's like. They all have their own side quests. They have backstories. There's things they can say. Sometimes they'll chime well, in on stuff you're doing. People. Yeah, they're exactly. People. They're not characters. Exactly. And that did not come across at all at Skyrim. And, and I mean, it's clear that that was part of the reason why they added it because they just come from Fallout and companions worked well. And then they do it, but it's like they missed the point of what made them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't care for uh, companion mechanics in any game. Actually, I know you don't. I think uh, even Bioware. <laughs> honestly, I don't. Either, I don't either. But uh, well, yeah. I, people honestly, like companions for for, you know, for, for Elder Scrolls, I'm personally completely fine with it not being in it at all. I probably actually prefer it. But if they're going to do it, I would want them to do it better than what they did in Skyrim because that bothered me to no end. You know, and I get the idea. I think the idea is supposed to be that you know they want to be a large world, so have more than just six guys. But it's like they're so bland. So bland. Everybody in Skyrim is bland. That's the that's the biggest drawback to Skyrim. Uh, one of the biggest, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, one of the biggest. But the the same could be said for Oblivion. There's yeah, a lot of bland NPCs. Again. Oh in Oblivion. yeah. Once again, our discussion about voice acting. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, 
Yeah. A lot of bland people. That and uh, we kind of touched on it earlier, but just how linear the dungeons are. Yeah. Because in, in, like in this, you're seeing Ryan get lost and going through like several different passages and figuring out which one's the right one. And in Skyrim, it's like, well, here's a hallway, here's like a circular room that leads to another door, and after you beat the boss, here's a shortcut to the entrance or a random exit that's at the top of a mountain you couldn't reach normally. And it's just so... Uh, actually, I was thinking of this earlier because I was mentioning he should start doing the main quest to try and find the uh, Dwemer puzzle box because it's like some people take forever finding it. Yeah. It's one of the first quests and it's just like sitting on a shelf and so sure. many people miss it and spend hours in like the first dungeon. Uh, so, oh, here, here's one for you. Here's a comment for you, Bear. Yes. Matt says Fallout is much better with characters. You what do you think so? What say you? Compared to I know Skyrim? how you feel about Co Compared Fallout. to which game? Are we I liked I liked Fox yep. in, in three. In, in three, there's another guy where you just buy him and he's the slave? Your, yeah the slave. It's a she. Yeah. Well, no, just mm -hmm. just characters, characters, characters in general, not necessarily yeah. henchmen. Just oh, how characters are handled. Characters. You're not really a fan of Fallout Three, are you? Characters were okay. My real I, problems with Fallout were really the. Um, I think that there's a lack of variance within the world. Every dungeon's an apartment building or a sewer or a subway. <laughs> Everything is gray. and I mean, it's fall. It's post-apocalypse. Yeah. What else well, is it supposed it, to be? Yeah, it's a, that's kind of a thematic thing. Yeah, I know, but it's... It gets... Because you've seen one dungeon and you've seen them all. Like, mm -hmm. literally, they're all the yeah. same. And there's three types of enemies. There's, like, a mutated rat, a super mutant, and ghouls. And that's and like, people, yeah. and that's it, or bandits, or giant insects that annoy the hell out of you. Well, that's yeah, the event, you, you kind of see yeah. everything the game has to offer in the very beginning, and then the rest of it is. And I, I have to agree with Matt here that uh, I'd say at least if we're comparing Oblivion and Skyrim, I like New Vegas characters in general a lot more. Now, I really liked New Vegas, but it's the only this guy game, crushed under a rock. It's the only game that I've ever played where I had a game-changing bug that made me put it down, and I haven't played it. Since. Yeah, that's actually been my discussion with a lot of people. Is that because um, honestly, I, 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 to my knowledge, I'm in the minority here because I've talked to a lot of people and I keep getting the same uh, response. I like New Vegas better than three, and I've had a lot of people tell me otherwise. And one of the main reasons, and this is one I can understand, New Vegas is because Fallout Three is already buggy as all hell. Vegas is so much worse. There are yeah. a lot of terrible bugs, and that's kind of a Beth well, it wasn't Bethesda that yeah, made Vegas, but uh, but I don't know from a, from an overall design standpoint though, and characters, I love New Vegas so much more because oh god, I, I like I like New Vegas, yeah. and I will play it again someday. Yeah, not anytime soon. Look, but look for fan made bo fan made bods that will fix I, a lot. Of I that just I had I, so much fun doing the hardcore mode. Like it, mm -hmm. it was amazing. Yeah. I, I loved. Having to eat, sleep, and drink. Yeah. I mean, it was just cool. Well, and on the subject of characters, too. a lot too, of immersion. Yeah, and on the subject of characters that Matt's bringing up, um, to me, three... Because, like, if you ever play... Did you ever play any of the old Fallout games? No. Okay. Um, one thing about three that bothered the hell out of me compared to New Vegas is that it's so much more polarizing with a lot of the characters' uh, alignment. You know, there's so many characters that are clearly just jerks or are like goody two shoes and there's a whole thing about like the brotherhood of steel being these like noble good guys whereas in new vegas you find the brotherhood and they're isolationists they're sticking to their own they're hoarding technology because they're afraid of what it'll do in the masses yeah um and there's like four major factions that you can beat the game with and none of them are good really yeah. you know all of them are jerks in different ways maybe some more than others you know kaiser is probably the largest douche out of everyone but, yeah you know it's it, yeah, it, it I really felt like so much that. more. Yeah, it felt much more gray with morality. Whereas three was very much these are the good guys, these are the bad guys, and here are the poor saps that are dying left and right. And that yeah. bothered the hell out of me. It's some good stuff. Yeah. Morrowind though. Right. Back to Morrowind. <laughs> that was a side Morrowind <laughs> characters. Well, because we got in subject character. Yeah. And... Morrowind just it, it seriously does it all. Yeah. It, as many downfalls as there are, because no game is perfect. Oh. Especially. The, the further and further you get away from it. Yeah. Uh, Morrowind seriously just it just does it all. The the world immersion is there. I I argue unlike most if, if like you know like more than like ninety nine percent of games it gets the immersion right. Mm -hmm. Like no, no game is more enthralling, yeah. more immersive. And, like, and, and th this is this this game is yeah. just nuts. Well, and actually, I read an interesting article I remember uh, after Skyrim came out uh, talking about you know why people find Morrowind so much more immersive. When if you uh, look at the design choice, it's kind of interesting that it feels more immersive when you have. Uh, 
What was it? Oh, sh- sorry, brain fart. Um, it's interesting that it's more immersive when Morrowind overall has such a more stagnant population. You know, everyone's standing in the same place 24-7. There's a few guys yeah. that walk up and down the street, but that's about it. You know, in Oblivion and Skyrim, they have sleep schedules. They go to work. Shops yeah, close a certain that's time. Cool. It's a more active environment, but it's just kind of weird how Morrowind feels more immersive. And it's more the fact that I think... It's you because focus more on your own agency. The cities and the architecture and the people within the cities are so varied. Yeah, it's more realized. It's, and, yeah. and it's localized too. Like there, there are. I wouldn't say there's dialects, but there are ways, yeah. like different ways that people different speak. traditions. Yeah. And, like, and that and like yeah, and the traditions are rich too. But actually, you should talk about what you were you were telling me uh, the other day with how the quest lines. Reveal more about the same characters. Oh, they overlap. Yeah. So the way uh, characters are kind of focalized with this within this game is really great. And you know, in uh, something like Skyrim, you have this guy, and like this guy's the dragon slayer, and this person's the great cleric. And oh, uh, hey, Brian, real quick, can you turn up brightness settings in game? Brightness. Are there brightness settings for without modded? I don't know. Let me see. Because people are complaining that you can't really see stuff in the caves. Uh, gamma correction. Yeah, it's Gator. It's n- might help, but it's not really the right. Yeah, yeah I didn't do no. anything. Yeah. Then no, there's not. Yeah, because people can't really see what's going on in game. They just kind of see shadows and you shooting things. But I can see. I can see. It's yeah. getting a little better. Um, Stay near the light. Have a torch out. <laughs> so what I was saying about that is, you know, everybody is very distinguished who they are in a later installment like Skyrim. Mm -hmm. Something that's cool about this game is the way the characters are built depend on how you approach them. Mm -hmm. In that you'll meet one guy and you think this is just like a regular guy and you know whatever talk to him he may send you on a quest and then during the Thieves Guild you have to talk to him again. It's like oh shit this guy's an ebony smuggler. You know this guy is a slave trader and his dialogue wouldn't imply that just right. talking to him he seems like just a regular yeah. any other it's person. not just here's the character yeah and people have double lives and stuff and it's yeah and there's game. like entire you know parts of this game and these people there are sides to them that you would never even see mm-hmm. if you don't join talvani if you don't join mm-hmm. the thief skill if you don't right. join this that or the other thing like yeah. the the quest lines aren't there just to give you something to do they're a way to experience the world they're a lens and and that actually uh relates to a point i was going to bring up earlier when i was talking about like being lost in dungeons and stuff yeah Uh, a lot of the dungeon like in skyrim all the dungeons are built to relate to a certain quest or something you know there's a goal i need to kill this boss at the end i need to find this item that's at the end whereas in morrowind so many of the dungeons are just designed on their own and then quests are like placed there sometimes you visit the same place twice for different things uh, there's tons more rooms to explore beyond the one, like the example with you know the early one to find the Dwemer Cube. It's in one of the first rooms if you check the right room first. Right. <laughs> Otherwise, you can just spend a ton of time exploring the entire dungeon because the dungeon wasn't built for the purpose of just facilitating a quest. It was just built, and the quest happens to like take you there. Yeah. And that gave it such a better sense of exploration. Man. Such a yeah. Hmm? I think we're going to what, 10? Yeah. Wow, it's a plan. You need some food, buddy. Enjoy food. Food is good. I'm gonna probably crack the open. Does anyone wanna partake of it? Oh, you know I will. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll take one of the little team. bit. A little bit. What? You, right, right. what? what you? I said I'll do it. I'll let you move <laughs> And then we'll uh, the Well, I guess I was, now. but. Yeah, I don't so, know how that happened in the chat. <laughs> yeah, so what's going on with Bur- Borderlands 2? Yeah. I've actually, I've never played any of the Borderlands games. Those games are fun. They're fun. That, that's the best word to use. That's, that's <laughs> where we'll leave it. They're yeah. fun. No, okay. like, like yeah. yeah, they're they're fun. It's the kind of game where it's like, by yourself, it's not something you should really do. But if you have a group of four friends to play with, it is some of the most exciting stuff you can play. Oh, it's, yeah. It's great in co-op. And put it out. Online co-op game is so long. Yeah. <laughs> it's great couch co-op, though. Uh, if you have a console version, you can do two-player, yeah. Yeah. Unless you want to really old school and do some system links. Oh shit. Oh man. Having a LAN party, guys! Yup. I love LAN party. <laughs> that was the last time I went to a fucking LAN party. I think for me it was like 2008, 2009. Maybe soon. Yeah, no, 2009, maybe. 
2008. Yeah, 2008, I think. That is annoying with the Telltale Games versions, isn't it? I That bothers me a lot, what? too. Yeah. Oh, because they do, they're do they doing a Telltale Games version of uh, Borderlands, like a spinoff. You know what Telltale Games is? Mm-hmm. They're the company that did, like, the Walking Dead games. They, they did, did uh, they're doing Game of Thrones Game right of now. Game of Thrones. So it's, it's uh, kind of like semi-choose-your-own-adventure slash, like, you know, directing an episode almost. Yeah. So they're doing that. What's up, Flying V? Good to see you, man. They, air, they, they release them in, like, chunks. So yeah. it's like five parts back to back. And you can buy them all at once and like, you know, it's pay the same price you would for a game normally. But it's just annoying because you buy one, you play through it, there's a cliffhanger ending, of course, and then you have to wait <laughs> three or four months. Yeah. That sounds like bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Bill has joined the server. Oh, man. In between prostitute breaks. Hmm. Because he's a diehard fan. <laughs> <laughs> it could be during... What's up, Bill? Good why, to see why you. Why was I in between? Yeah, multitask. Okay. <laughs> Bill, Bill would never. <laughs> if, they, if there, if there is like a woman within like 200 feet of Bill, he could not watch our channel. <laughs> <laughs> he will give all of the attention to the woman. That's just how he is. He's just a gentleman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, and that's boy. what you should do with them. Because it, yeah, you should wait till all of them come out. People are commenting about Telltale. Yeah. Still. <clears throat> You have a blade of paralysis, bro? He's been using... Yeah. yeah. You have like two of them, don't I've you? I've got so many blades of paralysis. It's like your main weapon. Well, because they're glass, so they break really freaking fast. Well, it's just that the enchant it doesn't oh. last very long, and so yeah. I hit him once, and then I wail on him with something else. <laughs> mm-hmm. What was the last thing we were ranting on before we were well, jumping on Borderlands? I actually wanted to get back to uh, what I would like to see out of the Elder Scrolls Six game. Mm-hmm. Let's not call it Argonia anymore. Let's just call it Elder Scrolls Six. Yeah. If, yeah. If there, well, when there is a six one coming yeah. out. Yeah. So there is. Yeah. Uh, they'd be there, there's got to be. Yeah. So uh, the thing with uh, Elder Scrolls Six, I would like to see them approach Elder Scrolls Six's world the same way that they approach Daggerfall's world. Where it's like, make it a non-random, randomly generated world, you know? Mm-hmm. Where it's like, it's a guided schema for uh, a huge world. Have like a density measure where you have like some flavor in between. But make the world just fucking huge. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you're going to do all of Tamriel. Yeah. If you're going to do just whatever it is. Like if it's Hammerfall, if it's, uh, you know, Elsewhere. Yeah. If it's uh, Black Marsh, whatever it happens to be. Make that bigger than Oblivion was and have it be as dense as Morrowind. Mm-hmm. And that alone would basically fix it for me. You know what's one thing <laughs> I would like to see them do, and I don't think they'll do it, but I, w- I would love to have it come back. Uh, and a hardcore mode. Yeah, that too. <laughs> Is with factions, like for the major faction side quests, uh, and even for the main side quest to an extent even, start instituting some stat requirements and like pacing and don't use nearly as much... Uh, what's the term? Um, like how the game like fixes the difficulty to match your level. Yeah, scaling. Scaling. yeah scaling. Yeah, scaling, that's it. Because um, Oblivion did that well, out the ass. Well, make it, make it, so basically what you're saying actually is kind of implement more D&D uh, yes and qualities no. yeah. to it. Well, just the you sense kind that... kind of are. Yeah, yeah. In this, well, yeah, but D&D is... Or like flexible. Baldur's Gate something, yeah. you know? Well, yeah, there are places that are filled with really bad things, and you should not go to it at first level. Right. Definitely. You know, and you shouldn't be able to finish the main quest at level 6 because everything's been dumbed down for you. Right. You know, I mean, Oblivion, you could beat it at level 3. It was, like, the optimal, I think, because that's when magic items showed up, but everything was easy enough to kill still. And it was silly. And you could stop it, too, because you would just never sleep, so you'd never level up. <laughs> right, yeah. Skyrim at least forces you to level up, kind of. But it's... It doesn't, though. It really doesn't. Yeah. Well, did, does it scale? Because you level up technically, you just don't spend your points yet. Does it scale right. based on... Uh, you, actually you'll, never do, that. you'll do shit damage, but you'll have a lot of life. Yeah. <laughs> that's, and, and that's the thing, too. Like I think Morrowind... Uh, or, well, actually, Daggerfall does it pretty good. You guys, there are so many gobbies. Yeah. Enjoy. <laughs> I'm just... You, you gotta get out and He's show... He's so focused. You People are even sh- commenting you, on this right now. Basically know, you, just you, saying you, that you, you look like... You gotta show our viewers this wonderful on. world that you're ignoring. Well, yeah. the gobbies... Can they you just stop... Can you please... Because we shouldn't be playing... Because we've been talking about, like, mushroom towers and interesting architecture. <laughs> yeah, like, and they've just been seeing the same cave this whole time. <laughs> now, the thing is, I haven't been in a dungeon for this long ever. Well, here's the, here's the thing. If, if, if we were... If I 
thought you were going to play a fucking dungeon for two hours. Yeah. That, that, I would have said we were yeah. playing Tribunal rather than Can you like, reload before you entered, <laughs> or can you leave or something? Or, yeah, let's, let's see a little variety. But, also, just, I, this is Bill, right? Sp- Spooky Donkey? Yeah, that's yeah. Bill. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I, I wish it would, but it probably won't. I know it probably won't. There's yeah. a lot of things I'd like from the new one that I doubt they'll do. No, you're right, Bill. Oh, hey, by the way, Bill, uh, so you've played, you, correct me if I'm wrong, but you've played more Win Oblivion and Skyrim, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, and on a similar note with like having a hardcore mode, one thing I'd like to see, if they're going to keep having these uh, main quests that are like, oh, do it. Uh, there's actually mods for this, for Skyrim at least. There probably is one for Oblivion too. Uh, I think they call it like Alternate Life or something like that, where uh, the mod basically just puts you somewhere in the world and skips all the tutorial stuff and gets rid of like the main quest line. So that way, while the main quest normally you know forces you to follow it, there's a way to just be like, you know what, I just want to make a character. Like, if they yeah. did that, it, it, I feel like it wouldn't be that hard to do. No. I don't know. I mean, I'm not, a, I'm not a programmer, so I could be entirely wrong here. But, like, I, I, I would love to see that as a feature if they keep having the main quests being so compulsory. All right, so uh, how do you rank the El- Elder Scrolls games, Bill? We've had this discussion. Skyrim has come out on top. For between the two, for us at least, we had a few well, people Yeah, be, be, Morrowind for the people who've played it. Morrowind say they say Morrowind's the best, but yeah, that's for us it's been like Morrowind, Skyrim, Oblivion. Yeah. What, what say you, Bill? With Paul. <laughs> uh, let's see what Bill say. The fucking not gobbies. <laughs> they still oh, want yeah, me no, dead. Oh, it's the Altmer! It's the Altmer! Oh, finally, you're at the end. Will you do it so for the last hour of the stream we can actually see interesting things? I, or you, <laughs> I really hope so, man. I really do. <laughs> if you die, just please reload it before the dungeon. Please. He's not gonna die. He's, do it. I believe in you. I believe Everybody, in get, give Barry your encouragement. Cheer him on, guys. Oh, snap. Wow. Ranked for, oh, but he hasn't played Morrowind. So that's... Let's see, what do you say? That he ranks uh, Oblivion higher. Oblivion higher. What? Why, Bill? Tell us why, and then go back and watch our video later about why we think. And because it, because it came up, people are talking about Baldur's Gate because it's amazing. <laughs> Although oh, yeah, Bear would never right. enjoy it. Oh, yeah. So ba- basically, uh, Spooky Donkey in Spooky Donkey fashion fashion is being like uh, very appearances matter. <laughs> he's a he's a surface versus substance guy. He doesn't give a shit uh, about uh, if Skyrim oh, is better. He just doesn't like the aesthetic. <laughs> what about you, Flying V? You didn't jump in this yet. How do you rank uh, Morrowind, Oblivion, and Skyrim, buddy? And then where did Alex Toma go? That motherfucker left, didn't he? Yeah, he did. I do. Ne- I haven't played Ice Valley either. I need to do that. I I've heard so many good things. That what? and. Oh, uh, talking about I need to get Icewind Dale. Oh. It's another uh, D&D-based uh, top-down from the same era as like, Baldur's Gate. Oh, okay. Yeah. The difference is that whereas Baldur's Gate has like intentional plot, I think, I might be wrong, but I think with Icewind Dale you actually make your whole party. Kiba420 says Morrowind hype. Explain yourself, Kiba. I'm not, I'm not gonna, I don't think any of us is gonna disagree with you at this point, but uh, explain yourself. Let's see. Hold on. How, how, are, the, how are those guys going? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> was that sufficient? <laughs> uh oh. Are you out of healing potions? Yeah. Bear be dead. I Bear might know. be. You're gonna get killed dead. <laughs> by some Altmer. They don't have shit on you. Like, worst defense stats normally, bro. What are you doing? Kiba just bought the game yesterday. I'm dead. I'm gonna nope. die. You're alive, you're alive. Live up with that hype. Come on, Kiba. kite, kite. Nice, yeah, she's sprinting. <laughs> <laughs> Who does that? Also, Kiba, tell us. Morrowind, huh. Oblivion, Skyrim, yeah, how do you rank them? That's go. Interesting, Bill. I hear here the opposite from most people. Here we go, here we go. Not you. You get it, son? You got it? No, but here we go. <laughs> just, no. just resolve it either way, because we got we gotta show them some mushroom towers. Oh, where's the other one? Finish him! The other one was gonna Finish die. Finish him! Everybody give a warm welcome to Kiba. Did Thank I kill it, Bang? Guy. Hi, Kiba. Our, our moderators are, are doing good. Let's see what we got. Fine, heavy storm. What's up? That's a big goddamn do it, do shield. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Also, give us. Ah, a- no! Oh, shit. Yeah, it's. Uh, awesome. you, you got deaded. All right, it's so, uh, fine, heavy storm. How do you rank Morrowind, Oblivion, and Skyrim? And yeah, we, we just got KO'd. It's okay. We got F'd in the A. No, it's okay. 
Sorry. Oh, so they just don't even like the series. Because... They have a flying V? Yeah. Just don't even like the series. There you go. Oh, uh, okay. Well, you might like Skyrim. Skyrim is the least like uh, Morrowind and Oblivion. Yeah. I mean... We were just saying earlier it's, that it's... Yeah, it's really... We, we like it better than Oblivion, but it's kind of a worse Elder Scrolls game. It's yeah, it's a worse Elder Scrolls game, but a better game. It's, it's, a, <laughs> it's a fun action RPG. Yeah. Because you know? it, 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 it does away with stats. You just have skills. You don't even, like, make a class. You just pick a race and name yourself. Yeah. Oh! Win. Jeez. Okay. Here, Fallout here would be we... an interesting switch, too, if yeah. you like FPS mechanics. It, it's, it's got Fallout's some similar... Fun. Yeah, Fall Yeah. Fallout is Elder Scrolls, but a shooter. With guns, yeah. yeah. And post-apocalyptic. Dude! See, it's true. Skyrim is most accessible. Yeah, it is. Most accessible. Here we go. Yeah, Skyrim is definitely most accessible. Get them, Alter. Oh, snap! God, you're so buff! <laughs> Why are you so bad? Dude, you just gotta get turned up. <laughs> and start oh, fucking. There you go, up. see? Enjoyed Fallout 3, and just that's what I'm trying to believe in. But, yeah. There you yeah. go. It might be worth checking out Skyrim then, because it it's it's different for it's it's the most different Elder Scrolls game in a lot of ways. But did you drink do you have any like brandy or anything that ups your strength? Because you can get like get really drunk you get, Yeah, you stuff. can get white girl wasted and just like <laughs> just start stabbing somebody for like half their life every every tick. Have you tried like sneak attacking them at all at least at the start? The what? Sneak attacking them at the start? Nah, he, he knows I'm here oh. at this point. Oh, like from when you saved? It's just yeah. already engaged. That sucks. <clears throat> I'm gonna get him this time though, see? Yeah, you got you got you got the paralyzing daggers. Good stuff. Staring daggers at him. Just die. You know, I was Oliver. having a discussion with a friend of mine too recently about. Just um, die. Just die. Just die. He, he's curious why, and I, I agree with this too. Like why no one else has really tried to, and people have said they have, but they really haven't. Uh, why no other companies have really tried to compete with Bethesda in this market? Because there's not really yeah. any other major series that have this style mm -hmm. of free roam. There will be games that say they're free roam, but but they're not. Not in the same way, at least. Yeah. And it's curious that no one's tried competing with it because there'd be a lot of alternate takes on this genre that I would love to see that I don't think Bethesda would do. Get him, Skater! You got Let's him. see if I got, like, a strength potion like you were talking about. I have right. Restore Fair Strength. Enough. Yep, some games just don't resonate. So. Restore mm -hmm. Health. Nah. Nope. <laughs> Same unexplainable dislike for it. I, I've had I love that. the way that's worded. There, there are things that I know everyone <laughs> likes and I'll play them and just be like, I don't I don't, I don't, it, I don't like it. I, I hate like this it. and I don't know why. Yeah. Can't tell See, you why. I we just got freaking hate it. Angry John Doe in here. What's up, man? Thanks for stopping by. And actually, Kiba, we didn't thank you. Thank you for coming by. And then we mm. also had somebody else up there. Uh, Dragon Age claimed that? to try and be Skyrim, but it, I mean, it's yeah. a very different approach. Very different approach. Like, they, they mentioned that. Uh, the one that I found funny is they constantly talked about how they were directly competing with Witcher 3, which makes. No sense yeah, that's at weird. all. They're not even remotely the same kind of RPG at all. How'd you guys like Witcher One? Um, Witcher One, I have mixed feelings on. I like Two a lot. One, not so much. I didn't like the combat. I hated. I combat couldn't one. get through one. Yeah, the the I combat was... made one very inaccessible. It Man. was not, and it wasn't just like the combat was hard. It was just not fun. It felt like a fucking hallway game. It felt like at the start, yeah. If, yeah, I mean, like I obviously didn't get too far, but um, you know, it's kind of like okay, so you guys were doing tactics so good before, right? Yeah. In a sense, that's a hallway, but you make choices that split stuff up, and then it gets pretty different. Witcher does that. It's would, very straightforward RPG, but there I wouldn't are major say that. I wouldn't that. say that tactics server is a hallway. Well, I mean, in terms Final of Final Fantasy the, 13 is like a hallway. Well, no, because yeah. like <laughs> it's as far as progression through the game goes. Yeah, you can grind and maybe do a couple side quests, but it's just go from battle map to battle map till it's over. Yeah, well, killed the Altmer. Does that job, mean I'm buddy. done with gobbies? Yes. You're done with those gobbies. Am I done bro. with gobbies? Will you go outside, please? <laughs> <laughs> I would love to. Thank you. Yeah. And we'll go back to Varenfeld. And yes, well. Witcher 3, please be good, because I am all kinds of Unless stuff. I, I could go. Too, should I go so. to Terran Hall? You need to get the fuck out of here. Go to Varenfeld. You don't even know what Terran Hall looks like. I don't. I don't. Um, but I want to see me doesn't look some like vanilla Varenfeld, yeah. goddammit. <laughs> no, screw it. Let's go to Soul Simon. Something but ice. <laughs> and, uh, I played. That's that's the only Elder Scrolls uh, expansion I've ever played. Wait, you played Blood Moon and you didn't play Tribunal? Yeah. Wow. That. That. I, know. I am. That's I don't know what to say right to that. There. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. Like I can't even comprehend what you just said. I know. <laughs> hey, I was poor, man. Always poor. This is the I still but you could afford poor. the second DLC. Not the first. <laughs> This is the fast way out, I know. Oh, I see there are more gobbies. I won't kill the gobbies. What, wasn't there talk of us getting more beer? Uh, 
Yeah, yeah Anthony's going to pop it. Oh, okay. Okay, guys. Get some more Sukaba. Hey, hey, and it, to be fair, Final Fantasy XIII stopped being a hallway after, like, 50 hours oh. when you finished the <laughs> tutorial. Okay? <laughs> we finished the tutorial. <laughs> it is! You can't pick your own party until, like, the 30, 35 hour mark. That's it's hilarious. fucking horrible. <laughs> it's pretty painful. It's such a bad game. It's pretty painful. It was really bad. It was it's really just, bad. that's a blight. I still can't decide if... Uh, 13 2 was actually a better game, or if it just felt that way because 13 was so bad. <laughs> like, I can't believe you played 13 2. I that's, did that's for atrocious. review. And I, I did for review, and I was expecting to hate it. And I was like, you know what? It's still awful, but it's not as awful. <laughs> okay, so you didn't do like a spoony. Oh, like a. Like worst game of your thing, or what? Spoony. Spoony, uh, the YouTuber. Oh. I, he just like takes a huge, like, 10 part shit. Final Fantasy 13. 13's really bad. Yeah, it's pretty incredible. Yeah, that came out before I started the interview, so I just don't know. Congrats, Guido. How'd awesome. you like it? Oh, that game is so fun for no good objective reason. <laughs> <laughs> like, I did, when I did my review of Saints 4, I was just like, I can't explain to you why this is good, because there's so many bad things about it, but it's so fun. <laughs> I've never played a Saints Row game. What's the premise? Um, It depends on which one you play, because 1 and 2 are vastly different games from 3 and 4. What's the best one? Depends who you talk to. Because people that like... We know what's the best Saints Row, and what do you think is the best Saints Row? Four. I loved four. All right. But, but that, uh, yeah. Because the first two are basically, like, light GTA clones with, like, a little more comedy and a few other changes, whereas three and four are just batshit insane. Yeah. Like, in four, you get sucked into a virtual realm where you do, like, a side-scrolling beat-em-up for a bit. Oh, it's fantastic. <laughs> so what... what uh, so it, four is, like, a... GTA then also no, what, uh, off the chains like yeah it's still like a free roam like and you're part of a gang but you, you're doing silly shit at that point like in four you're fighting space aliens and you're in the matrix okay <laughs> so yeah I don't understand <laughs> <laughs> also yes uh, that that is definitely the biggest thing about thirteen I hated everyone except maybe Silas but Silas was more of like hey you're kind of all right and then I hated everyone else. <laughs> especially Hope yeah that's it's bad God, when, you, when you hate everything and everyone yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cheesy GTA is a good way of putting the later two. Okay. Intentionally cheesy though, not yeah. like yeah. Like it's not like a B movie. It's like a parody B movie, okay. where, where we yeah yeah. Well, yeah. it's like sh uh, Sharknado. Yeah, kind of yeah. like that. Okay. But better. <laughs> All right, guys, those were those were the last gobbies. Well, you just All right, okay. Prepare to see Vardenfell, guys. Finally. Uh, but two hours in. <laughs> now I don't know if those were actually the last gobbies, but they're the last fucking ones I'm killing. Sure. Okay, rest and then get the hell out of there. Yeah. We need to go. <laughs> well, I can't rest. There are enemies nearby. You might have been in the air when you hit it. In a weird but then it says you can't rest uh, unless you're on solid ground. Oh, yeah, so, so for the, for those of you who saw our new loading... loading uh, Gobbies. Actually, who who saw our, our loading screen? Or the offline screen? Was it just Guido and Vexi? Or did uh, anybody else see no. that? No. Play three first. They respawned. I'm not going to play it. <laughs> <laughs> they respawn. I'm out I'm just here. kidding. I killed your fucking leaders. Just get out. Did the quest say it's done? Like, did you no. get a journal entry? Well, I did get a journal entry. It says I've, I've killed, killed the Alter Trainer. And our, okay. You're good. You think so? You're probably good. Okay, oh, yeah, you're probably. If not, oh well. Okay, so, uh, Spooky Bilgamesh did not see it. You saw a blank gray screen. Oh, you did? Wait, Vexi. that might have been when we were coming back. Yeah, Vexy, did you see oh the the new loading screen or the new offline screen? Yeah, Vexy did. Yeah, I think it's a very good improvement. <laughs> <laughs> we we made a, a couple changes to the channel, like for offline mode and all that stuff. I think it, I think it's good. Also, for for I don't know people's names once again, but uh, for Flying V, uh, talk to talk to Bear about what he thinks of snow because Bear actually likes snow. And I, I think snow has potential to be a very good character. <laughs> it's like Waka, bro. Bender. I've. <laughs> okay. I just approached that the, the, that he was Bender, and that's just what I went with. Uh, <laughs> it made Waka more bearable. Okay, well there you go. Same so, time. so Jack, this is actually something I told you What's about up? the character Snow in Final Fantasy XIII. Is he has the potential to completely flip a stupid archetype on its head? Yeah. Because yeah. he's but it doesn't. <laughs> no, he, he completely does. Because he's basically Naruto. He's like, I'm. I need oh, to be Jesus. the best. I hate Naruto. I'm the. I'm the greatest. I'm gonna be the best at this and that and everything. And it's all. It's that the entire goddamn time, right? Now, at the very beginning of the game, because he's a uh, he like leads a gang of children in the battle. It's like Avalanche for kids. 
Jesus. Which, uh, on the surface, is actually pretty goddamn fucked up. So, Child Soldiers just sells you all the time. No, 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 it's not the Child <laughs> Between Soldiers. Between that and Metal Gear Solid, I mean, hey. just... Mm. It's not the, the Child Soldiers in of themselves <laughs> that gets me. It's the fact that at the very beginning of the game, they die. And you're like, oh, wow, so this, uh, this archetype is actually toxic, and he has to live with how shitty he is as a person, and he has to realize that he's not the greatest... Because his stupid ass attitude that normally saves every protagonist in every JRPG has just ended his life, you know, essentially. Yeah. And then they come back about halfway through the game. They're like, we're not dead. And it's like, oh, oh of course oh, not. God. Okay. Oh, God. I'd waste my goddamn time. Oh, God. <laughs> What's in the box? What's oh. in the box? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> What's in the box retcon? What's in this game? <laughs> <laughs> is there anything else other than tunnels? Flying V, Flying v said, uh, Snow looks like the type of guy who would wear nothing but affliction gear if he were real. <laughs> That's fairly That's amazing. That's amazing. Tap out to Tap out to Tap him. out. <laughs> Jesus. No, or if he was, uh, like, if he was Snow, but, like, in the early 2000s, famous stars and straps. <laughs> Just a fucking oh, Jesus. rose. <laughs> Jesus. So, anyways, back to Marwin. <laughs> <laughs> we have covered so many RPGs today. Yeah, that well, that, we're we're scatterbrained. Yeah, it happens. That's what that's what happens when you when you have a it's, chat. And yeah, you, and you well, don't do just like a talking which is, head it's thing. It's smart. You know? Yeah, it's chat engagement's important. Yeah, because one of my favorite Twitchers and YouTubers is Arshin Gaia, and he does he does like lore runs where he'll take you through the game yeah. and do it on Twitch, but then he does like ruminations. It, it, he calls them ruminations. It's just like two hours where he just does talking head. I'm going to review this game and I'm going to talk about like, you know, the themes, the characters, all that stuff. We mm-hmm. kind of do that in the beginning. Uh, yeah. Right. We're out, guys. And then, we, and then we do fan service. Can, can we get to, to Vardenfell so we can get some <laughs> Yeah, we'll go, we'll go to Vardenfell. Vardenfell, 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 where the Dova King lives. Okay. Um... <laughs> Wait, wait. <laughs> this is this is not Skyrim. Right? I mean, he might have again. Lived some damn point it, played Dark Elf. But <laughs> man, that reminds me in Skyrim, like the the racism with the Grey Quarter. Some tough shit. Yep. Although it doesn't really make any real world difference, so it seems just racist. <laughs> Pretty much. <sighs> uh, Skyrim. It's a good game. It's enjoyable. It's no more wind. It's no more wind. Okay. So this is the guy who gave me the quest, so let's see if I'm actually done. What yeah, you, the War Chiefs you? are dead along with the Altmer trainers. Good job. What was the reward? You got a lot of money. Uh, 10,000 10, gold. 10,000 gold, huh? Yeah. That's pretty good. That could get you something. Uh, does this guy have any more <clears throat> business? I won't do it. I just want to know. I'm sure he does. And? <laughs> but you see, what, what do I ask him? There's a goddamn book here of shit what? that I need to say to him. Like, how do I get my next quest? I know he has one. Uh, I think you need to talk to Alexia. I don't think I'm allowed to go in there. No, I think you are now because of that. It says something about going to see her for gratitude or something. Okay, whatever. We'll go to Varnfell. Yeah, just go to Varnfell. Just, can we do this, please? No time to talk to a living god. Yeah. Gotta go to Varnfell. (laughs) Varnfell is awesome. It is. You know, I'm sure our viewers wouldn't want to see. See, it won't let me in there. Unless summoned by the goddess. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, oh snap! Getting some arguments here going on about Final Fantasy. There's there's gonna be some Final Fantasy fights in chat. So I thought it was in a reception. We get back. I need to talk to a lizard people. Can, oh, to get back to uh, yeah. Speaking, you need to warp back. Yeah. Spe- speaking of which, so uh, <clears throat> in the summer we're gonna play Final Fantasy one through nine just straight through. Fun. Yes. And uh, with Bill. We're gonna play Final Fantasy Nine. What's your favorite Final Fantasy again? Me? Yeah. Six. Six probably, yeah. Six. Band pick one, yeah. Right, shit kicker. <laughs> play do you wanna play six with us? Maybe. We'll see what that's gonna be. No, f- fuck you. If you, if you, if you <laughs> if don't I've, come out and say, yeah, dude, if I've got free time, hell yeah. <laughs> I just I don't wanna make agreements before it's like, oh, I'm gonna be in like another state. <laughs> hey bro, you get you've got six months. Well, make sure it's not during E three. When's E three? It's usually early June. I don't remember the exact dates for this year. Okay. It, it will not be June. Anyways. <laughs> I'm looking for the lizard people. So you can get the hell out of here. <laughs> lizard people run. Run <sighs> like the wind. Lizard people screw. Screw like the wind. 
Even all Mother Noah didn't want to let me in. Little lizard people. Whoa, 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 win. All right! <laughs> I have no idea what just happened. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, we practice our songs before we come on. Mm. We just, we wrote that today. Nice. We didn't write that. Don't sue us, Brad Neely. <laughs> Now I got 545. Oh, yeah, it's like seconds. where the, the Hawala is. <laughs> I forget the guy's name. Hellseth? Oh, it it's near where Hellseth is, I think. Oh, yeah, no, it's in the plaza. Yeah. No, it's in Old this. There's an Argonian. right there. Yeah, there you go. There yeah, you there's go. There's a reception area. There well, he is. So, Bill, Bill and I played Final Fantasy VII uh, the last summer, and we, we beat it in two sittings. So, we don't need a guy with that. Uh, when we're gonna do Final Fantasy Nine at Bill's place too. Uh, right. Uh, fucking Bear's favorite is uh eight. Yeah. Well, no, your favorite's nine, but yeah. But eight. Eight is also. the one you bring up that we were like. Ah. Yeah. So eight. He knows eight, and then. Oh, Valkyrie yeah, well, We might we might need help with the we, others. We got someone commenting a Valkyrie profile. Got Dude, that's where it's at. Yep. That we're doing it too. Crazy. It's the summer of the JRPG guys. Oh man, you know we're this. in Vanderfell. We are okay. So this is Imperial Architecture. Look at it. It's oh, all look at it. it's fantasy beautiful. standard. As I shit. swoop through it. Yep. All right. So we. This is all standard fantasy stuff. This is probably the most recognizable like tropey place. Okay. <laughs> what, to, like, you want me to go talk Ayo. to Caius? Is that what you want? Uh, no. We already talked about that whole thing. Let's just like start checking out architecture. Let's go from weirder to from normal to weird. So, oh yeah. Like, so, okay, about so Mora, from here we could go to Sager's Mora, the boat. But that's like insta. Hey, can we t- can we talk about how awesome the Ordinator armor is? It's pretty awesome. It's real nice. I remember nice. thinking like I need to kill one of these guys so I can wear. Give me a destination. Too. Um, let's go from weirder to or normal to weird. So, is there a way to get to, to like Balmora or maybe even Vivek? Yeah, I was gonna say start yeah, Vivek's Vivek. right here. It's yeah. a neighbor. Okay, go to Vivek. City named after a god, living god. He lives there. I like Vivek. Yeah. He's there's a, uh, there's Evan Hart. Guy. Yep. Very nice. I actually recently just disco- I, I never caught on to why he looks the way he does, and I actually read an article recently that like I was just looking at random stuff on Elder Scrolls while I was playing again. He looks that way because it's supposed to be I don't know why, but for whatever reason he is only shows half the Dunmer side, and he still has the regular shimmer look on mm. the other side. Is what's supposed to be. So here's like, Vivek. more stuff in this game. Basically, Dark Elves originally looked normal, and then they did some crazy stuff, and all got their they all got their skin turned bluish well, gray. Flying V, we're, we are going to play Star Ocean too. Oh, that's a good one. The Be- second story. Bear Bear would probably crucify me if we didn't play Star Ocean two this year. It is a good one. So here we is are. That, is that accurate? What? Is that, you would it's pretty accurate. Okay. Okay. Here's Vivek. Yeah. So this is like the biggest city in the city. So we it's have like the capital. We have Cantons. This is like the this is like the biggest city in any yeah. Elder Scrolls game. Recent and, Scrolls and we can game. see on the map here. This is just one Canton. Yeah, and there's awesome. what like and eight I can't of them. Even total? Look, well, let's, each one let's has three see. stories of sewer works. Uh, yes. Like, <laughs> Vivek one. They're just two ridiculous. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> I don't think those are all cantons, though. They're not? Because there's the entry one that's the foreign quarter. There's four in a row that are yeah. the arena and the three houses. And then I think there's three more after that. I don't think it's... There's a lot of cantons. There's a lot of cantons. <laughs> Whatever it is. We can't there's even, at least eight. Can't even <laughs> see them all. Yeah. Yeah, because there's... Doesn't let me there's scroll. For, there's for the houses, there's the arena, there's the like the foreigner's quarter. Yeah, that's the foreigner's quarter is the entry one. There's then there's the, the three temple. houses and that. The yeah. temple's the far back. Yeah, there's... Uh, let's see what else... So there's at least at the very 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 least there's six. Oh, there's so, a, yeah, there's, there's at least like seven. eight or nine or yeah. something. There's, yeah, because there's also like the justice one or like where the ordinators are mostly camped out at like the barracks well, area. Vexy said she might go to a concert that's Final Fantasy and Star Wars music. What the hell? Cool. They they, they have that matchup. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you just need a artist that wants to do yeah. that. I mean, it's it might good, not be like official. Stuff. Yeah. I'm, awesome. I'm a little jealous. So. Throw in some uh, here are D's Jeremy cantons. There. Yep, D's cantons. So yeah, this is one of the biggest cities, and this one is like you can see where some of the more unique architecture comes in, but it's not too weird yet. You know, there, there's even though they're floating. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you the, don't the know cantons? how deep the water is. Or yeah, like, I mean, I'm sure there's foundations in the water. I don't, think, I don't think they're floating. Oh, okay, well, they look like they're floating. I mean, especially from afar, they look no, like they're floating. No, that's that's. That is ground. See? Okay, well, fuck it. Foundations there. Because sewer works and stuff, man. Yeah, yeah you can go okay. into the sewers if you want. 
Not those. Well, ones. the little moon is floating back there. Uh, at the temple. Yeah. yeah. Uh, can we get a shot at nighttime looking at the moons? Because that is that oh, just yeah. beautiful. That's some good stuff. That's some good stuff. <clears throat> Boom. So then from here, maybe do Balmora, or do we want to just skip right to Redoran's at, like, Eldrune? Mm, Not the best night. moon, but it's a nice night. Cloudy night. A little too cloudy. That's the thing. You never know what you're going to get at nighttime. You, uh, you want to go to Balmora? Yeah, sure. go to Balmora. Because yeah. you'll, you'll see the Vivek inspiration in yeah. Balmora. So, like, you see it's very part cool. of the shtick of this setting is You want is me to walk it or take a Silt Strider? Take a Silt Strider. Take a Silt Strider, yeah. So, like, part of the shtick in this setting is that there's major great houses which represent, like, different major families and, like, interests. And each of them has a very distinct style. So, so, so Vivek is based off of, uh, it's mostly, like, the religious design. I think Endoril is, like, what it's mainly supposed to be. So the next one we're going to go to is Balmora, and that's run by a house called Lalu. And their whole thing is that they like imperial culture. Like, they want to become like the imperials. And, and they're all rich. Yeah, yeah, and they're very rich. It's like the merchant. Rich. They're, they're rich they're because yeah. they are open to foreigners. Yeah. Yeah. They're the so, only ones who want to trade with yeah, them. Yeah, let's make this daytime. By, by the way, I really love the gondolier hat. In, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you've killed, one, you've killed one to get one. Right? Yeah, exactly. That's how you know if you yeah. played the game. Yeah, you the gondolier. Here's the thing. This fucker fell off his stand. He, oh, wow. How did that happen? He, he just did. He's down here now. Wow. Um, anyways, <laughs> so yeah, so you can see how this is like... Oh, well, well now we just got legs. Still Striders, freaking weird. Ah, uh, Balmora! So yeah, <sighs> this is like one of the first big towns to come to, and like, yeah, it's, it's not traditional. So fantasy, many memories but, here. You know, yeah, traditional. I, I really like this stuff. city. Yeah. You spend a lot of time here early on. Yeah. It's like the first big city there. Right yeah, can I show there. you the house that I always had? I think I could, uh, think I could jump to the Oh, dude, wait. While we're here, you have to find the Sword of White Woe. This is like how I start every game. It's important. I jumped it. You see that? I saw that. I did. Because nice. acrobatics works that way. That's nice. <laughs> uh, okay, go. Keep going where you're going. Okay. And then cross the river. This is important to me. <laughs> if you haven't gotten it, you have to. You need to get it. It's probably shit compared to what you have now. That what? tower right there. That guard this, tower. This. This baby. Yeah. Oh, this is and then sword. I need to show you my house. This is the sword you were talking about, right? Yep. I get it at the start of every playthrough, at least when I'm willing to steal stuff. Got to do it. Keep going up. All right. So on top of the cabinet, right there on the left, see a little hilt. Cool helmet. Yeah, I love the Hulalu helmet. That one? Yeah. So you just gotta, like, get behind him on the jars and grab it. Or just kill yeah, him. Yeah, 17,000. That's quite a bit. Yep. I, lo I love the Redron armor, man. Redron's cool, too. But I, my the favorite helmet is... are the best. Yeah, they have the best pauldrons, but I love the Hulalu uh, helm. Let me see. It's a pretty easy steal. You can do it at, like, Got right it. at the start. Oh, yeah, yeah. This The bone mold is, is basically yeah, what, I, what I meant stupid. to say. It's just bone yeah. mold. I love bone mold in general. Mold. Yeah. I think they have slightly different pauldrons for some... It, yeah, and the red on one is, like, the one that goes back, like, the, like, alien. No, that's Telvani. No, that's, that's Telvani. Not Telvani? Telvani's yeah. the weirdest stuff. Telvani, yeah. I really do like the Telvani so, yeah. one. Xenomorph. So, point being, out of the three main aesthetics and, like, houses, this is supposed to be the most, like, comfortable. Like, this is the most recognizable to, like, how Imperials do stuff. Imperials being cliche fantasy people. Humans. So then, let's get a little weirder and go to Redoran. You go to uh, so <laughs> Alderan. Alderan, yeah, that's the main capital for them. You guys just don't care about my welfare. Oh, I sorry. What? what are you talking about? I want to show you the house that I always had. What? The house that you had? Did yeah, you just like I would, kill someone? I kill somebody there? to take their house. Why would you do that? <laughs> So I, I I have a place to put my things. Got it. It's remember, for immersion. I remember reading a, a, a <laughs> I remember reading a uh, playthrough someone did, and I hope it had to be fake. And if not, I worry for this person's mental safety. Because you remember who Fargoth is, right? You just go here uh, in the very beginning. The right? and you can yeah, sleep right here. This guy was like, and yeah, nobody so bothers you. I did a playthrough where I just made myself look like Fargoth, killed him, wore his clothes, and just did his Wait. routine every day. Huh? The the razor hole. You just walk in uh, here. Yeah. You can sleep right there. Nobody huh. cares. Yep. No one cares. Hey, yeah. as long as no one can catch you. Well, yeah, but the thing is, there are people here. Like, they just don't care. They don't. They're, uh, okay. they, they put, like, a small box. So where's your sheets. where's your very special house, right, hold Jack? Hold up, hold up. Can I switch chairs? Yeah, switch Musical chairs. chairs. Ah. And my pocket catches it. Oh. All right. Uh, this is your very special house. It's like nobody else's. Go. Actually, here. Let, let me. Let me try to find it. Just just tell me where it is. I need, I need to be in the seat. <laughs> Maybe you don't know? Just... Here. So, <laughs> move to your right, to your right. Like that the one. Lulu Manor is? That one. Yeah. yeah this the baby. one that's right by the common tongue. Jesus. <laughs> Nerano Manor. Nerano Manor, that's right. You took a manor, not just that. I took a manor, of course. You had to take... when you... One does not simply kill somebody. Don't you have to kill this guy for some quest? I feel like this guy comes up in a quest. 
But I'm Roboy. I've done like yeah, but look, they, more there's like all of the, all of these great things. All these little quest. You, got, you got your little bookshelf. You got a a, a door. <laughs> but then the uh, that just takes you out to Balmora. Yeah, I want the balcony view though. Okay. Yeah. There you go. You got your little balcony. Yeah. And then the the uh, what are you doing? I'm going okay. I thought there would be a door. No. <laughs> but you you got your uh, bedroom upstairs, and I what I used to do is I would collect a single copy of every single one of the books, and I would just stack them in little neat piles. <laughs> Oh my All God. around the fucking bed. Yep, you've played Morrowind all right. Yeah, I know. properly yeah, like that. <laughs> right here. Yep. And Your then, I, and then, yeah, I put like my armor up there and stuff. Good stuff, man. Good it's good stuff. stuff. Screw strongholds. Yeah, just take that out. You want to see my stronghold? <laughs> yeah, and then I had, and then I had my stronghold. Yeah, and then I, and then I, uh, this was like my summer home in Balmora or something. <laughs> right, there we go. Your summer home in the city. <laughs> yeah, you go there. Oh. So yeah, I love that shit. That's immersion right there. Alright, let's get some Aldrin going. Alright, let me let's see. It's got some kind of curse or something. Oh. Going to the temple. It is cozy, isn't it, Matt? Take me to Perfect church. Perfect for a child. Fucking cleanse my blight and shit. You get, uh. Is it poison? Uh, is that a You get my admiration if, if, uh, you get the reference. Yeah, okay. Perfect for a child. Blight. Nothing. Well, what is that debuff? Although, down Matt, you'll get that. Huh? It just ended. Oh, whatever okay. it was. Whatever. Okay, so let's head up on to uh, Alderun. 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 Alderun places. <laughs> I'm Batman! I'm Batman! In, in the middle of daytime? Yeah. Just leaping yes. from... That's how Morrowind works. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, oh I didn't know you were still here, baby. Oh, look at that. A few people. Uh, fucking Kevin's here. What's up, little buddy? Wait, what? Here we go. Here's all to run, and this guy. Always, I know you I always spawn very close, and he's always looking me right in the face. Yep. It's very. Creepy. I remember that happening all the time. It's like, hey guy, how you doing? So here I am, all to run. Yeah. Now some good stuff. An interesting note about all to run is that all the rich people live in a giant crab fossil. Yep. Oh, it's wonderful. This, yeah, shit. this is a giant fossil. Well, and then the other ones are supposed to be, I think, like, uh, silt strider hides. Which ones? Been. These? Those, yeah, the regular birds. Uh, the little, these guys? Yeah, they're supposed to be silt strider hides, I think. Made out of, at least, partially. Interesting. Yeah. That's well, giant crab, so weird, as you can see. It. Then you got your bone mold fucking knights and shit. Now, imagine this fucker walking around. Yeah. I'll show you yeah, what it looks like. Yeah, it just it died, it left a giant skeleton, why don't we live here? Yeah, I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. Yeah, they're all burrows too. They go underneath. Like they don't have second floors. They all have basements. Yeah, that's how you like go deeper so, in where you live. This is well, the, the red red run guys are bros. Like the definition of bro, pretty much. <laughs> so this is what the inside of a giant crab looks like. There are shops. There are manors. Yeah, been dead for a while. <laughs> now, here's the thing: hmm. is these uh, mansions that are inside of uh, this crab are all different. They're all designed differently. Yeah, they're not stock. Um, uh -oh. architecture. Which really, architecturally wise, makes less sense. But huh? yeah, yeah. But I mean, <laughs> this, this I could walk into another mansion, and, it would not look and like it's this. the layout's going to be different. There's probably going to be a foyer, obviously, mm -hmm. but um, they're all because the thief Guild put me all through these mansions, and they all have a different floor plan. Yeah, looks like Chad is experiencing some hiccups. Um, really, say Sarathi Manor. Yeah. See, already different. This is not. <laughs> There is no foyer, really. It goes no. into a goddamn kitchen. <laughs> goddamn kitchen? <laughs> of I, all the things. You know what? It's how not my it. place. <laughs> it's not my place. I love how there's a full-size tree in in the foyer. Where? Oh, in the yeah, in the mansion? Just, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. It's been there a while. Where are we off to now? Weird shit. Go to some Sadrith Mora. Yeah. See that that Any would have been way. that would have been easier if we were down by the boats. I mean, you just have to do a couple fast travels. This is down by the Wauda. Down <laughs> by the river. And, and a silt strider. Down by the <laughs> river. river. <laughs>